Hello friends, this video on separation of substances part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the fourth process which is sieving. So what is sieving? Now when we talk about sieving, it is like separating particles of different sizes from a mixture. So here uh, it doesn't matter whether a particle is heavy or a particle is light, but if the size of the particle is like considerably different, in that case we can make use of sieving. Now the word sieving is derived from sieve. Now do you know what is sieve? A sieve looks somewhat like this, a net like structure where you have tiny pores. Now the, you have steel sieves, you have sieves made of plastic, so there are many different types of sieves that are available. So, but the, gen, the normal concept of sieves are that they have tiny pores and when you have, so, so these tiny pores will allow certain particles and they will not allow certain particles. For example, let's say, let's look at this sieve. So looking at this sieve, you see this is the size of the opening. So if you have a particle which is as small as this, so will, do you think that it can pass through this openings? Yes, it can. But if you have a particle which is as big as this much size, so do you think that such a big particle will be able to pass through these small pores? No, it can't. So that is the main concept behind the process of sieving. So it, it has a sieve like structure that is a net like structure or you can say that it has pores and these pores will allow only particles of certain sizes to pass through it. The other particles will not be allowed. So these tiny pores allow tiny particles to pass and slightly bigger particles are blocked. So let us look at some other sieves. So this is another sieve which is commonly used in our household to uh, to clean uh, flour, to clean flour or to clean wheat. So all those things are done using this. In fact, this is also a sieve. So there are different types of sieves. Some are plastic, some are made up of steel. So they, they are all of different types. So let us look at some examples of sieving. Where do we use sieving? So one very common example is to remove impurities from wheat or flour because we make use of this flour so normally when we, you prepare any anything, maybe you, whether, you, whether you bake a cake or you prepare chapatis or you prepare parathas. So whenever you make use of flour or wheat, first the first thing that you do is to remove impurities because a lot of times these flour might contain tiny worms or it might contain tiny pebbles. So it is very difficult to hand pick them. So that is why they are... Uh, the sieve is used so that it, it only allows the tiny particles of the flour to pass through it and it doesn't allow the impurities. So what will happen? The impurities will remain here and the flour and the clean flour will be here. So that's how uh, sieving is helpful if to remove impurities. It is also used in pharmaceutical industry to in ensure the right quality because in the pharmaceutical industry a lot of medicines are being prepared. Now during the process of preparing or manufacturing medicines it is very important that impurities are not present at any point because these medicines are uh, like consumed by human beings to treat diseases. So if they contain impurities that can they can be deadly for living organisms. So that is why it is very important to ensure that there are no impurities. So during throughout the process of uh, production or manufacture of medicines, it is always ensured that impurities are removed and for these uh, removal of impurities in a lot of places, the process of sieving is utilized. So that way uh, sieving is like, uh, you know, it, it's quite beneficial. Now sieving also has its own advantages and disadvantages. So if you talk about the advantage, it is effective to separate tiny particles. For example, when you talk about flour, so uh, removing impurities from flour could be a tedious job if it comes to doing it manually because I mean the particles are so tiny that it is very difficult to see if if and uh, if some undesirable component is present there but when it comes to uh, the disadvantages of sieving it is not very effective for particles of similar size so now since here it it distinguishes the two particles only based upon their size so if both the particles now let's say if flour contains an impurity which is exactly as the size of the uh, particle of the flour so in that case the sieve will not be of any use because it will allow that particle to pass through it. So in that case sieving will not help. 
So that is why it is not effective for particles of similar size. So if particles are of similar size, then again you will have to find out some other technique. Now if two particles are of similar size, but one is heavy, the other one is light, then you can make use of winnowing. If two particles are of different sizes, even if slightly different sizes, you can make use of sieving. So let's see what do we do when two particles are of similar size but at the same time, I mean, there is not very much distinction between their densities or weight. So we will talk about Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.